Hi, in this video we unbox a ridiculously powerful head torch. Hi, I'm Adam and welcome to First Man Photography, the channel that will help you take your photography to the next level. If you haven't done so yet, please do subscribe to the channel where there's videos going up every Wednesday and every Sunday and I put up tips, tricks, tutorials and reviews and there's also my vlog that people have been really enjoying. So if you're into photography, hit subscribe and you won't be sorry. Okay, let's get into this. When I started this channel, I promised that I was going to feature things that don't obviously link to photography. So today, with this video, I'm putting that right by featuring a torch. Having a torch is essential for photographers that are outside shooting at night. Things like when you're doing astrophotography, you need to find your way to your spot and back again. And those of us getting up ridiculously early to capture sunrises and staying long after sunset will need to some way find our way back to the car. Up to now, I've been using this torch. It's quite bright, uh, but it, you've got to hold it in your hand. And, and I also have this head torch, which does the job, but now I just want more. I want more light and I want more power. Who wouldn't? So I've gone out and bought this. It's a Can Wellum head torch and it's apparently ridiculously powerful. So let's get into the box, find out, and we'll see how we go. This is an LED torch. It's got one powerful Cree T6 LED. So it should be, it should do the trick. This is powered by lithium ion batteries as opposed to some of the others that have AAA batteries. Here you see they're much bigger than your normal uh, AA battery and they should hopefully last a lot longer. And it's going to be needed because this is hopefully a beast. It also has the zoom feature so you can have a wide zoom or zoom in a bit more to get a nice powerful spot that will carry a much more distance. So here it is, the batteries go in the back here and then the light source is in the front and then it sits over your head just like that. It has a switch on the back of the torch bit here which selects between the different power modes. So I'm going to get the batteries in and we'll give it a test out to see how bright it is. Okay, so we're in the studio. I've got the blackout blinds down. You can still see a little bit of light coming in. So let's switch the torch on. And wow, that is pretty decent. I'm happy with that. That's at the widest setting and the brightest setting. And as you turn the ring, you can zoom in to that spot in the middle. And you can actually see a projection of the LED on the wall there. That's pretty cool. Um, there's also, if you press the, button, the power button once, it goes down to a slightly less powerful one and that should last a little bit longer and that's still going to let you see pretty well in the dark and then after that you have a strobe mode sorry about that but that powerful one i mean look how powerful that is you could actually use that as a video light in certain circumstances okay so we're now using the torch as a video light it is insanely powerful it's blinding me actually uh, i can't even see the camera because it's so bright but i think it's working pretty well and it can gives you an idea of how bright this torch actually is. <laughs> Admittedly, it does look a bit stupid when you're wearing it, but really when you're out in the mountains, out in the outdoors, people don't really care what you look like, especially when you consider the price of having this powerful a torch. It is 19 pounds in the UK and about $20 in the US. So I'll put some links down below for you to check that out. The battery power is not as good as I would have hoped for. It's advertised at two to five hours, depending on the power mode you're using. But in most circumstances, still, that is gonna be just fine. And really, if you if it's putting you off buying it just because of the look, really don't, because all you need to do is look, switch it on, look at someone, and they won't be able to see you. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Give the video the thumbs up if you enjoyed it, because that really helps me out. And like I said at the start, please subscribe, and I'll see you on another video very soon. I'm Adam, this is first man photography with a funny thing on my head out i have the power